Okay, so again, we're using the table method. Um, we are going to do this, but these are bad examples, and I don't know why they're on there. So really, the only good example is the second one. Um, so we're going to, the ones on your practice, I promise, are better. So we're going to do alpha y equals enter, and you're going to type 4x squared plus 3x. Maybe this one's not a good example either. To the third power plus 10 over x minus 2. Let's see what happens. No. Yeah. I don't know why. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna start on this page. This is your practice, so it does look a little different. Okay, so you'll notice that those were terrible examples. Six x squared minus seven x minus twenty over two x minus five. Okay, and when I go to the table, or I'm gonna hit graph first. And you'll see that it's a linear line. Okay, those are the examples we want here. Those other examples on that other practice, I don't, those quote unquote notes are terrible. I don't know. <laughs> I hope I didn't make that, but I don't know. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so when you go to your table, you'll see that um, it's a linear equation or table. So what we're going to do is I want to remind you that y equals mx plus b. Okay, b is your y-intercept, which is where x equals zero. Okay, it, and this is how much it's going up or down. It's your slope. Okay, so if we look at this table, we know that our b is four. Okay, and we also can tell, well, how do you get from one to four? Well, it's plus three. 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13, so we should know that our slope is 3, it's rising 3, okay? Now, I want you to also check your work, so I know that y equals 3x plus 4, so let's see if that works. So in y2, I'm going to do 3x plus 4. Do they match? Yes, so there's my answer. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Those other examples were not linear and that's why it wasn't working. These are supposed to be linear when you do them in your calculator. So if you have something squared over something that's just linear, then it should divide to give you linear. Okay, so let's try this one. Alpha y equals enter does the fraction 21x squared plus 23x plus 6 over 7x plus three, I'm gonna delete my other answer. I'm gonna hit graph. Gives me a linear line. So I'm gonna to go to my table. Now, remember, we're looking for M and B. So B is where X is zero. So X is zero here at two. <clears throat> and M is how much it's growing. So two plus three is five, plus three is eight, plus Three is third, 11, sorry. So this should be again three. So let's try three X plus two and see if that matches. And they match, therefore that is my answer. Does that make sense? Any questions? Um, I'm gonna stop recording.